Eeyore, it is just like the buses, isn't it? And I'm so glad that we have uh, got rid of our leopard drought. And it's lovely to catch up with Temba, who is Tandy's cub, almost a year old. So we did have Tandy first thing this morning mating with Tingana. Now what's interesting is uh, myself and Tristan were actually discussing this over breakfast, um, trying to work out why she might be mating even though she has a cub that's dependent and I uh, did ask Tristan if he'd seen her with uh, Temba recently and it was a couple of days ago so he is still with her, he's still interacting with her still dependent on her so it could possibly be um, because unfortunately there's not a lot of literature out there because leopards are so elusive and um, believe it or not um, we're very lucky here in the Sabi sands that uh, the, the sands have been a game reserve since um, decades ago so they've gotten used to people movement vehicles over quite a long period of time so they're actually a lot more relaxed around vehicles than what leopards are in other parts of the country. So we're now starting to learn more about leopard behaviour because we are actually able to witness it. Whereas in years gone by what's been written in books is literally from one person in one place and that's snapshots of their lives. So I think I'm gonna leave you with that thought and I'll discuss a little bit more when you come back.